Hello YouTubers, welcome to the channel and today we are going to talk about how to take screenshots in different ways within your MacBook or iMac. Before we begin, to get instant update on my future uploads guys, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Today I'll be using my iMac which is a 21 inch iMac and this has got iOS Catalina installed on it. These functions work on my iMac or MacBook Pro. Out of the different ways to take screenshot on your computer, I'm also using the same method to record this whole screen at the moment and you can find those tutorials on my channel in future. And to take a screenshot on this then all you have to do is press command shift and 3 and as you can see the screenshot has been taken on the bottom right hand side corner. Elaborate it and you can see that that's the exact screenshot I wanted to take of the whole screen. These screenshots are normally saved on the desktop. You can pull it out and check if we have got the right one. Method 2. If you want to take certain portion of the screen as a screenshot only, then you can do that by pressing the button Command Shift and 4. This will then turn your cursor into this plus sign with a circle on the side as well. And you can utilize this to crop a certain portion within your screen to take the screenshot off. Left clicking and dragging on the computer screen itself and putting it on your desired location is the way to do it and as soon as you release the left uh, press button this is when the screenshot would be taken as you can see on the bottom right hand side the screenshot has been taken gone to the desktop click on it bring it up by pressing space and you can see that the screenshot of the desired location of my channel another shortcut of taking pictures of a desired tab or window is by pressing command shift and 4 button again which would then display the cursor as a plus sign once that happens if you press on the space bar this will turn it into a camera and as you can see the left window is now selected the picture has not been taken yet but you can do that by simply clicking with a left click on your mouse at this time left screen being selected if you move it to the right the right screen is selected Move the icon to the right and the desktop is now selected. Let's take the picture of the Wikipedia page at this time then by simply clicking on this page we'll take the screenshot as you can see on the bottom right hand corner. Let's open the file to confirm it. As you can see only Wikipedia page has been selected as screenshot at this time. Finally this is the last method. This is the one I'm using to record my screen at the moment. Please check my other video on the channel where I'll be talking about how to do it. Moving on to fourth method by pressing command shift and 5 which will bring up this borderline. If you look at the bottom it has got an option of capture. If you look into the bottom as you can see this one is clicked here which means that the uh, margin lines will take screenshot of wherever it is placed on. You can move it around as per your preference where you want to take picture of. You can enlarge it as well make it small or big as per your preference again. Once happy with the selector area, click on capture to take a picture and if you open it up you can see that that's the area I've selected with my margin lines to take picture of. Alternatively you can press that option again, command shift and 5 and bring this menu up and this has got other two options at the bottom. This one is basically to capture the selected window where you click on this and it will just select the window. This is same as the previous method. It will give you the camera sign and allow you to take picture of different windows by selecting it and by simply clicking on it. So this time it has taken the picture of the desktop itself and if you open it up this is what you have captured by simply clicking on the desktop. Let's bring the menu up again by pressing command shift and 5 and then at this time click on where it says capture entire screen and this is again the repeated method. Clicking on capture will take the picture of the entire screen again as you can see in here. Open it up and this is the whole screen that I have just taken again as a screenshot. So these are the three different methods you can take pictures within your MacBook Pro, MacBook Air or iMac by using these shortcuts depending on your necessity. I use them all the time while editing the video, while creating my thumbnails and all the good stuffs. I hope this video helped guys. If it did, please hit that like button and also please put a comment down if it helped. If you have got any other proven methods, please dot it down on the comment section as well and I will reply to that and add it on my next video as well. Also guys, if this helped, please subscribe to the channel and share this video to help this channel out. Tons of thanks for hanging till the end guys. Please subscribe to the channel to get updates on my future uploads. Please also feel free to join me on my Facebook page and Facebook group. Stay safe everyone and see you in the next video.